thought swimming in the ocean was dangerous, the same can be said for freshwater as well. The fish that roam rivers and lakes are not to be trusted either. Check your surroundings before you leap in. You don't want to be coming out missing a toe, or worse still, a limb. And no, I'm not kidding. From the fish with similarities to a popular workshop tool, to the tiny but lethal pack hunter, here are 15 most dangerous fish in the world. Number 15. Sawfish. Imagine having a piece of wood that needs to be cut in half. What would your normal go-to tool be? A saw, right? Well, how about a fish? The sawfish is strong enough to cut other fish in half. So surely it's strong enough to cut the odd piece of wood in two. This intriguing looking character gets its name from its long, flat nose extension, which is lined with sharp teeth like that of a chainsaw. As this magnificent creature gracefully glides overhead. Not surprisingly, the sawfish is related to the shark family. The way it moves and looks are a dead giveaway, but it can also reach a whopping 23 feet in length. That is one large water-dwelling chainsaw. They are typically found in tropical and subtropical waters worldwide. They are not placid creatures either. In fact, they quickly become vicious predators, especially when provoked. The saw-like mouth is used as a deadly weapon. They hit their victims hard, cutting them clean in half and feasting on what remains. It sounds like a horror movie. No wonder there are so many with the name Saw in circulation. The sawfish is a type of ray with a flat body. This makes them appear sluggish when moving through the water. They are also bottom dwellers, using their nose as a rake to cover themselves in sand. This is a great defense mechanism to keep them safe from larger predators. Number 14. Piranha there wouldn't be many of you out there that wouldn't have heard about the terrifying piranha. Its sharp teeth, sporadic nature, pack hunting behavior, and its ability to tear the flesh off a human bone in seconds have given it a reputation as a fish to avoid, to put it lightly. Piranha can strip a fish to the bone in minutes. These dangerous fish are extremely vicious, so it might sound a little bizarre that some keep them as pets. The largest known piranha is about two feet long. However, they vary in size depending on the species. There are over 20 piranha species, with the most common including the red-bellied pariah and black spot piranha. Although they have a reputation for being bloodthirsty murderers who hunt in packs, they aren't considered much of a threat to humans as they usually feed on other fish. Like the shark, the piranha is a predator attracted to the smell of blood. They can also sense a wounded fish and head in for the kill. They feed and kill their prey by taking small but quick bites out of them. These small fish have powerful jaws with sharp teeth. But the most interesting thing about the piranha is that it can regenerate. Scientists have noted that when a piranha sustains damage to a fin or part of its body, it can be fixed almost overnight. Now that's clever. These fish are found in the freshwater of South Africa, but with more and more people dumping them into ecosystems, they're starting to establish themselves in other areas. Number 13. Goliath Tiger Fish from the story of David and the Goliath, we can assume that if any living organism is named after Goliath, it must have a very specific set of traits. Humongous, ferocious, and mean are the first that come to mind. Well, the Goliath tigerfish certainly lives up to all of these and more. It is a monster, and worse still, it inhabits rivers. All right, all right. You know, the place you thought you were safe? Well, fortunately, they don't hang out in many rivers across the globe. 
They are native to the Congo River Basin and other waterways within Africa. The largest member of the tiger fish species, the Goliath, also has a mouth full of 32 protruding dagger-like teeth, perfect for preying on unsuspecting victims. It has a long, slender body and a forked fin, and is believed to grow to about 5 feet long and weigh up to 154 pounds. Its scales are large, silvery, and in some reflections appear to be gold, like that of a tiger's coat. These fish move swiftly through the water, able to strike prey lightning fast. The Goliath rarely attacks humans. However, it has no fear of other creatures and will happily feast on smaller crocodiles. This is definitely one big fish. Number 12, Kandaroo. The kangaroo, nicknamed the toothpick fish, is the focus of many strange legends. It is a dangerous fish that is believed to haunt the Amazon. A parasite of fish gills. Part of the catfish family, they are a small fish that are attracted to the smell and heat of urine. And if that isn't weird enough, after being attracted to the urine, the kangaroo enters the body through the genitals. Ouch. The very thought makes me cringe. The spine, ah, the spine or toothpick on its head makes it very hard to extract, causing extreme discomfort and pain to the victim. You might make a note to yourself here, don't pee in river water. The kangaroo is native to the murky Amazon waters and can be found in Bolivia, Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru. It is a transparent catfish measuring 133.5 mil millimeters in length and 11.5 millimeters in diameter. It uses its small size and light appearance to sneak up on larger fish while they feed, stealing scales, blood, and even fish mucus to feed off of. Number 11, Electric Eel. 600 volts of electricity pulsing through your body doesn't sound like a very fun time to me. So if I were to tell you that this kind of energy comes from a fish, would you believe me? Probably not, especially because we all know that water and electricity do not mix. This dangerous fish is very unusual, that's for sure. The electric eel has the ability to leave you unconscious, wondering what just happened when you wake. So just be careful when swimming around the Amazon River. Scientifically closer to a carp or a catfish, the electric eel is not actually an eel. Electric eel. It's a unique creature. They have a slimy, dark, serpentine appearance that helps them blend into the murky streams and ponds in which they inhabit. These eels have no scales and a square mouth. But what is slightly bizarre is the fact they don't actually have any teeth. Could you imagine? This character probably looks a bit like your grandmother with her false teeth out. Instead of using teeth, they rely on their electrical shock to knock prey out before swallowing them whole. Growing up to 2 meters in length and weighing a massive 20 kilos, these electric eels would be terrifying to come across. Human deaths from electric eels are extremely rare. However, multiple shocks can leave a person struggling to breathe as their respiratory system and heart begin to fail. People have then been known to die from drowning as they are unable to stand. It's simply shocking. Number 10, Catfish. Growing up to 13 feet in length and 400 pounds in weight, this fish is definitely not one to be messed with. The catfish is so large that it can even swallow a person whole, given the opportunity. Can you imagine? The fish has been manually introduced to many waterways and ecosystems. It was originally native to Eurasia, including the waters of the North, Baltic, Black, Caspian, Aral, and Aegean Sea, even spanning to Europe, Germany, Asia, Poland, Sweden, and as far south as Greece and Turkey. 
Within these many places are many species, the largest of all being the Wells catfish. This species prefers muddy and weedy areas with slow running waters. It's not always considered dangerous to humans, but can still attack. It also has a huge impact on native animals, fish, food, and habitats. Because it is so large, most other fish are just no competition. The Wells catfish is known to spread disease, parasites, and pathogens through waterways, destroying fish populations. Not only would this huge fish be a fabulous sight to see, it would require a lot of effort to reel it in. Number 9. Bull Shark Aggressive, sharp teeth, always hungry, fast, and deadly. This pretty much sums up our next dangerous fish. The bull shark is a common shark that normally lives in or near highly populated areas within tropical shorelines. They choose this type of area to inhabit as they make a great buffet for a greedy shark. But if you think you're safe from these fish when swimming inland, unfortunately, you would be wrong. The bull shark isn't picky about the type of water it can survive in. In fact, it's even been known to venture inland through rivers. Yeah, you heard that right, rivers. Its strong mouth is full of razor-sharp teeth that won't hesitate to sink into anything in its path. Scientists believe that the bull shark should be considered the most dangerous shark in the world. Alarmingly, it is classed as one of the top three sharks likely to attack a human. With a short, blunt snout, these curious sharks tend to headbutt their prey before attacking. They feed on fish, dolphins, and even other sharks. Humans, however, are not considered part of their food source list. So if you feel something bump your leg next time you're in the water, stay calm and try to get to shore as quickly and quietly as possible. Number 8. Puffer Fish Bloat is a puffer fish. And if you haven't heard this before, they're dangerous, particularly when eaten. There are more than 120 species of puffer fish living somewhere in the ocean. Some are classified as dwarf puffers and just an inch long. Others are giant freshwater puffer fish that measure up to two feet. What makes this fish so dangerous and deadly is that they are extremely poisonous. They are 1,200 times more deadly than cyanide, to put it bluntly. The pufferfish contains enough poison in its body to kill at least 30 adult humans. Now that is a lot of people. To make matters a whole lot worse, there's no known antidote. So once you've been poisoned, death is inevitable. A pufferfish can be identified by its puffer feature. When it ingests a large quantity of water, it appears larger than it is, sort of like a bird puffing out its chest, hence the name puffer. Their slow and clumsy swimming style makes them vulnerable to predators, but fortunately, they've been given a very effective defense mechanism. Puffer fish are also a delicacy, known as fugu in Japan. Number 7. The Red Lionfish the red lionfish is actually more brown than red. This dangerous fish stalks its prey through coral reefs in the Indo-Pacific region. They are extremely venomous. Three. Ah! With an array of 18 needle-like dorsal fins. So if you come across this fish, I highly suggest you don't pick it up. The sting from a lionfish is extremely painful. It causes nausea and difficulty breathing. However, it is rarely fatal. This fish is lightning fast and has red and white zebra-like stripes that it uses for camouflage. The red lionfish uses its camouflage to sneak up on its prey, mainly smaller fish and shrimp. Inhabiting warm waters, the red lionfish can grow up to 19 inches in length, making it one of the largest of the lionfish species. 
These red lionfish are common, as they don't have a definitive predator, live for around 10 years, and reproduce every month. That's one busy fish, wouldn't you say? Number 6. Stonefish Is that a stone? No, it's a fish. The stonefish is a dangerous little character that is more than happy to stay out of the water for up to 24 hours. It has many unique qualities that it uses to stay safe. It pretty much has an arsenal of weaponry. Covered in hypodermic-like spines, these fish deter predators from coming too close. They are also the world's most venomous fish. The spines on their back cause severe pain alone, but also inject venom so toxic that it can kill an adult human in less than an hour if left untreated. The stonefish uses its spines and venom to fend off predators, a method that has proved very effective. Why am I not surprised? These masters of camouflage can blend in perfectly with their surroundings. Taking the appearance of a stone, they can sit unnoticed within reefs and on the sea floor, hiding from their prey, predators, and even divers. As it lays among the rocks, it waits for its prey, quickly striking before they get a chance to swim away. These fish are not considered desirable. They are also rarely eaten by humans and only targeted for the private aquarium trade. There's still an abundance of them living around and in our oceans, so next time you go to pick up a stone to throw into the water, make sure you look carefully. Number 5. Fox Jellyfish And the award for the deadliest venom in the world goes to, drumroll please, the Box Jellyfish. Its venom contains violent toxins that attack the body's nervous system, skin cells, and heart. In fact, barely anything is left untouched. This intricate specimen can grow up to 12 inches around, and each tentacle can grow to a massive 10 feet in length, giving it a huge stinging area. They can also weigh up to 2 kilograms each. The box jellyfish normally live in the coastal waters off northern Australia and throughout Indo-Pacific. They are an extremely dangerous fish and are often referred to as a sea wasp or marine stinger. They are pale blue and transparent in color and get their box name from their cube-like shape. People that have been stung say that it is overpoweringly painful. Oh man! <laughs> I, oh, uh, oh, I can feel it! And that their bodies have shut down automatically. This shock causes victims to drown or have heart failure before they even reach the shore. And my, my spine and my chills! There have, however, still been survivors who have told their stories of weeks of considerable pain. They can also still show the scars of where the box jellyfish tentacles made contact. Ouch! Number 4. The Stingray Creeping around in shallow, temperate coastal waters, stingrays hunt for their prey. If there was a prize for best hide-and-seek player, it would go to the stingray. These dangerous fish spend a lot of time inactive, partially buried in the sand, only moving with the sea tide. Stingrays are long and flat, with a large, sharp spine on the end of their tails. This tail, with its sharp barb, incapacitates its victims, with the underside producing venom which is fatal to humans. This venom can still be deadly long after the stingray's death. Moving like a wave through the water by flapping their sides like wings, these go-with-the-flow characters appear pretty chill. Oh, that's, that's the big, big one. one! The big one! Only attacking when they're feeling threatened. The stingray can grow to a whopping 7 feet wide and 4 meters long. If you get into the water and a stingray has you feeling nervous, make sure you shuffle your feet to avoid stepping on it. By shuffling your feet, you create vibrations in the water. This alerts the rays and they move on. Now, that's an easy way to stay safe, isn't it? Number 3. Great White Shark 
The Great White Shark is a natural weapon. Its torpedo shape helps propel it through the water, and its powerful tail allows it to reach speeds of up to 15 miles an hour. Imagine that coming towards you in the water. It's a pretty scary thought, that's for sure. However, terrifying as this shark looks, it's not actually a mindless killing machine as its reputation suggests. The Great White is found in cool, coastal waters. They migrate throughout the world, with numbers depleting due to overfishing. With 300 teeth, the ability to detect one drop of blood in 25 gallons of water, growing up to 20 feet long and weighing up to 5,000 pounds, the Great White Shark is the world's largest known living predatory fish. A naturally curious shark, they make up a third to a half of all the annual shark attacks worldwide. It is, however, extremely unlikely that you'll be involved in a fatal great white shark attack. Feeding mostly on sea lions, seals, and whales, scientists say that they sample bite to make sure they're about to consume the right prey. Number 2. The Great Barracuda This deadly and dangerous fish obviously made an impact to have a song about it. Reaching speeds of 36 miles per hour, these fish are designed for speed, and are considered amongst the fastest fish in the sea. With a distinctive silver shine, harsh scales, and many dark bars on their upper body, you can definitely see these fish coming. Growing up to 5 feet long and weighing 100 pounds, the Barracuda hits fast with their razor-sharp teeth. The outer row tears at the flesh of its prey, and the inner set of teeth are used for piercing. Their teeth are set in a position in which they can fit together, so the fish can close its mouth tightly. This opportunistic predator hunts by sight, swallowing small prey whole. They then cut larger prey into more manageable pieces. An inquisitive fish, they approach divers as they're attracted by the shine of knives, other fish, or gear. Despite this behavior, there have been very few recorded attacks on humans. Number 1. The Blue Ringed Octopus it's hard to believe that a tiny octopus could be considered one of the most dangerous fish on the planet, but here we are. The blue ringed octopus may be small, but it's also very deadly. It is easily recognized by its cream body and its striking blue rings. It spends a lot of its time hiding from predators, but when attacked, becomes one of the most dangerous in the ocean. Tiny octopus, barely larger than a bottle cap, is hunting for a meal. This octopus's venom can kill 26 humans within minutes and is more than 1,000 times stronger than cyanide. The venom is transferred through a bite. It instantly blocks the nerve signals throughout the body, causing nausea, loss of senses, and muscle paralysis. This leads to respiratory arrest in humans, and with no known antidote, the only way to stop death is immediate artificial respiration. Victims of this octopus's venomous bite who make it through the first 24 hours have generally gone on to make a full recovery. If that isn't enough to put you off, the bite is usually painless, so you may not know until it's too late. If you see an octopus that looks like this character, get out of the water. Immediately. Large or small, ocean, lake, or river dwelling, there are some fish out there that really should be avoided. It may not always be easy, but with a little bit of information, you'll at least be prepared should the worst happen. 